Dear friends, welcome to day two of our retreat for married couples. As always, let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I invite you to become more deeply aware of your sins, that is, of those sinful habits or words that get into the way of your relationship, that hinder your relationship in marriage from growing. In the book of Psalms from the Holy Bible, there is Psalm 50, which invites us not only to admit our sinfulness, but to seek forgiveness from God. Let me share with you now several verses from Psalm 50, verses 3 to 6. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In your abundant compassion, blot out my offense. Wash away all my guilt, and my sin cleanse me. For I know my offense. My sin is always before me. Against you alone have I sinned. I have done such evil in your sight that you are just in your sentence, blameless when you condemn, the psalm ends, dear friends, with a plea for forgiveness. It is really healthy for us to think of our sins in the sense that these are the things that keep us from growing into a deeper relationship with each other. So when we bring our sins to him, not only does he forgive us, He wipes them away. He transforms us. So it is not something depressing when we admit whatever sins we may have, particularly those things that get into the way of a couple growing in love and deepening their love. When we honestly admit our sins, we're like a parent who runs to the help of a child who has fallen. The parent runs out to the fallen child. And what does the parent say? Not words of shame. Not, you're a loser. Why would you do that? Shame on you. But rather, the parent picks up the child and says, you'll be all right. I want to help you get up. You'll be okay. I love you. That's who God is with us when we honestly go to him and bring him our sins. Let me share with you a a very precious memory from my relationship with my father. I knew that nothing I could ever do would undo his love for me. Oh, I could irritate him. He could discipline me and had to. But nothing would undo his love for me. And that's who God is. His tremendous love never changes. So today, dear friends, I invite you as a couple to take some time together and to admit what are the things in your life, sinful habits, sinful ways, that get into the way of your growing in love. And you admit them, not blaming each other, confidently going together to the Lord and asking for his help so that you can grow in your relationship with each other. Do not let any sin stand in the way. For God is all merciful. And when we bring our sins to him honestly, we receive back mercy and strength. And with that, we can walk on more securely. Remember, God loves you, and with that love in mind, you can look at your sins honestly and confidently receive His forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.